hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how you all doing okay happy valentine's yeah so it's already it's already uh it's already 14th of february so i would say happy valentine's to you so i don't know what you're going to do today but i'm just gonna mind my business <laughs> all right so uh today's video we are going to look at how we can create a camera application we just four lines of code. Yeah, I said four lines of code. You guys are going to see it here. Just four lines of code. So this plugin, it's actually something I created. I created it yesterday and then pushed it to pop.dev. So I decided to make a video around it to show you guys how to get a camera picture that actually records audio and also you can take the camera and it returns the path to you. Okay, so you don't really have to write as many code in order to implement camera and video recording feature in your Flutter application. This plugin actually uses the Flutter, the Flutter team uh, camera plugin under the hood you know, to deliver the camera feature for us and then implement. So as you can see here, this is just a basic application. I just remove some boilerplate code. And we have this button so when you click on this button this start button is actually going to uh, trigger the camera page then from there we can take the camera capture or record audio all right then yeah so you can see my prospect the demo file now i don't have any dependency so let's go over to my web so see the site so i'm going to go over to my packages okay and you can see the list of packages i have but this are uh, this is not what i want so you can see it was added 24 hours ago that was yesterday and it's called flutter camera so it's a plugin for ios and android allowing access to the device camera and recording of videos so you can go through the readme file to see how to use it and you can see this package fully depends on the flutter camera plugin so this is actually the flutter camera plugin that was created by flutter.dev flutter developers so you can actually use that if you want to write everything from scratch but if you don't want that you can make use of this flutter camera that just provides those amazing things for you so you can see it supports android and ios for now so uh this web i don't know but it supports android and ios for now so it displays live camera preview in a widget snapshot can be captured and part is returned device flashlight is also supported so you can turn it on and off when you're taking camera videos or you want to capture an image so we got video from camera access the image stream from that live camera flipping only three lines of code okay uh, initially yeah three lines of code four lines of code are uh, just a little bit different okay but <laughs> pardon me for that so first thing we need to do is to add a, a dependency to our prospect HTML file so to do that we are going to go over to uh yeah installing and here is where i'm going to copy this okay so we can go over to our project and just paste it in our terminal okay all right so while that is running let's go over again back to our readme file and see if we need anything to set up so if you go here now you can see we actually need to make sure we are if, if you are running for Android, make sure you have your minimum SDK set to 21. And if it's if you are using for iOS, make sure you set this permission to use the camera and the mic on the user's device. So we are going to update that inside the iOS runner info.blick file. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. Why? Okay, this one is done running. So we can go to iOS and runner info.blick. Yeah, p list. Is it p list or list? Okay, I don't know. All right, so we are going to paste it here. Okay, like so. So I, I'm going to format this properly. All right, so once that is added, we can go back to Android and make sure you increase the minimum SDK. Okay, we are going to set it to 21. So what I normally do, I don't know why this stuff is always created this way. So I normally change mine. So I'll just change this target SDK to 21, to 31, sorry, the minimum SDK to 21. And you can actually change the compile SDK as well to match the <coughs> targeted SDK. Okay, so I normally use mine like this. I don't know where that fluttered or target stuff is coming from, but if you know, uh, put it down in the comment section and I really appreciate so right now you can see that is all we need to do 
and this is just a basic example the camera page where we can now show the camera all right so let's see how to implement that what i'm doing i'm just going to copy this stuff to clipboard because you don't need to be typing stuff over and over don't worry you're going to see the four lines of code i talked about because i'm going to remove some of those boilerplate stuff so what i'll do now is to go it's uh, it's already added right yeah so you want to make sure you kill the app and uh, let me bring up this uh, you want to make sure you kill the app and because we added the plugin okay so we need to kill it and maybe we run it again yeah so while that is running i can go over to my lip folder and create a, a page where we are going to uh, show the camera so we can just call this one camera page dot that like so then i can paste that stuff i copied all right so I think it's not going to show any error because uh, we have already imported it. So this is the flutter. So once you just, by default, this is how it comes. Uh, the flutter camera, you will import it first, you know, after adding it to your prospect HTML file. Yeah, yeah, flutter camera. And once you do that, this is just a normal page widget you have to create, okay, to actually display the camera. Then instead of returning a, a scaffold widget, you just have to return flutter camera, okay? Because this flutter camera, if you if we dig down into it now, you can see it actually returns a scaffold widget for us. Yeah, the build, okay, it actually returns, let's go to the camera view, it actually returns a stack widget, yeah, with scaffold widgets wrapped around it. I guess yeah so what you can do now just three lines as i said so if you remove four lines sorry as i said if we remove all of this now and format it you can see just four lines so what we need to do is just to return flutter camera and it takes you can set the color you want uh, the camera the, the primary color and then on image captured this stuff is it returns x5 parts where you can get the five parts yeah, so it's called whenever we capture, once you capture a camera, then this method, it will return the, the parts of that camera which you captured. And this one, once the video is ended, like you have finished, maybe you start a video after the re recording is completed, it will return the part also in form of .mp4. This one returns .mp3. So you can see just four lines of code. One, two, three, and four lines of code. So what would you what will you do once you get this stuff? Uh, you can do anything with it. You can actually show a preview. Uh, yeah, anything basically. So let's just wait for this stuff to run. All right, right now our application is running. So let's test this stuff to see. I just added the uh, main dot that. So what I'll need to do once they click on this button, I'm going to navigate the user to this camera page. Okay. So it can be any name you want. It doesn't matter. So what I'll do, I'll just call. I'll be using navigator here, navigator.push, okay, contest, and we can have, uh, you can use Cupertino or Material app, whichever one, Cupertino is more like if you want to give it that nice book flipping, like let it do as if you are opening a book. Okay, save this stuff, and then watch what will happen. I'm going to raise my phone a little bit, and then click on start button and it will ask you for permission okay so we are having some error okay so flutter navigator operation requested in the context that does not include a navigator all right so i need to fix it it's not really from the camera okay so don't don't really panic so it's actually from this end so what i'm going to do i'm just going to separate this scaffold widget from the material app real quick so here i'm just going to uh, separate it I guess that's where the issue is coming from. So I'll just call uh, main my app like so. And then here I can have a stateful widget, the other one, and like so. All right, so that will fix. So let's save it. Nothing changed. The same thing. Hot restart. Okay. And uh, yep. Okay. So once we do that, I'm going to click on the button again. Uh, to see what happens this time and now it will ask us to allow camera app to take pictures and don't worry this uh, all this uh, permission is actually handled by the plugin the camera plugin that lies underneath this one 
So once you accept, you ask if to accept uh, for camera too. So you accept. So right now you can see the uh, the video. Yeah, yeah. This one is for camera capturing. You can see the color that we set, which is actually, uh, if we go to the page, is actually amber. So this is the color amber. And now if I uh, click on flash, it turns out turns up uh, turn on the flash. Okay. And this button here is to actually go back. So when you go back, it doesn't return any parts. So we can click. And if you want to use a front camera, you can as well use it. You can also turn on front camera too. You can turn it off. And uh, let's go back to default camera. You can turn it on. You can see how awesome it is. Then you can capture capture from here, okay? And I'm going to show you capture later. That is because I need to add some print statement to actually print out the value and also on video recorded. But I think I need to do that now. Let me go back and experiment on this again. So I'm going to add some print uh, word here. Uh, actually, you know, so, uh, initially I added. Okay, let me just use Control Z to actually go back to how it was before. So see what happens. I get the part here. Okay, on image captured, I get the part. Okay, value dot part, and then I printed out the part, and then I checked if the part contains the JPEG because it contains JPEG. Once image captured, it contains J JPEG. That's the extension. Then I show is a dialog, so you can actually redirect the user to another page, more like to show the preview of the image. Okay, and then on video recorded, I just got the part, and so you can use video player plugin to actually extend this feature to show them preview. But you know, this plugin is open source, so let me see what you can do. You can make a pull request anytime. Uh, yeah, I'll always. Uh, merge it and then push an update now let's click on this again and see what happens so if I click it opens up the camera and then if I capture see what will happen it's going to print it out and then show us a dialogue more like a preview dialogue so let me click accept okay let's see all right you can see if you look closely here my console you're gonna see the parts yeah so you can see the parts uh, the JPEG. So this is the part. It actually stores it in your local device and with your app uh, name as a directory, and then it stores it using this cap, this name, the uh, JPEG. So you can see the preview. In your case, you can redirect them to another page. If they like the preview, they click OK. Then you process everything. All right. You can click back and uh, let's try out the video feature. So once you come here, uh, you click on this little this little boy here. And it takes you, you can see the cool animation I implemented. Yeah. Ow. So sweet. <laughs> okay. So uh, if we click on it, it's going to take us to this page. And from this camera side, this video recording, you can actually uh, capture. Yeah. Turn on your flash. You can also use the front light too. You can also turn on the flash too if you want. And the uh, same thing applies to all. Okay, then you can see if you want to go back to camera, you just click here. It takes you back to camera and you go back to video. You can actually pause and play a video. So currently you can see the status video recording is off. So if we click on this button, uh, video recording is on. So you're actually recording right now. You can pause the video if you want. Yep. Uh, you can play it again. Uh, the video recording is still on. And you can see once I capture. Okay, let me go down a little bit so that we can see the link. Okay, let me say once I stop this now to capture the video, you can see it prints the part out for us. So now we know uh, .mp4, you can see the part .mp4. So you can do anything you want to do with this. All right, guys, that is what I want to show you how to create a simple camera app. Okay, yeah, using the plugin I created with just four lines of code. So you were able to see how I did this stuff. It's just simple. Uh, there's no need to push this source code to GitHub or whatever, because you already have the full, the complete implementation of how to use this stuff right from this readme file. Okay. So you can always play with it. Uh, send your pull request uh, if you have any amazing things you want to uh, publish. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I so much appreciate. And do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Happy Valentine's.